Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. We've partnered with Fisher Nuts brand to bring you the perfect cookie. My mother is famous for these cookies. They're soft, flaky, loaded, and surprisingly easy. Let's get right into this. In the bowl of a food processor or a blender, pulse together one cup of walnuts, three fourths cup of dried cranberries, two tablespoons of sugar, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Process the mixture until it's finely ground up and set it aside. In the bowl of your stand mixer, pour one cup of melted butter. Now it should be just warm and not hot. Then add one cup of warm milk. Quickly whisk together four cups of flour and three-fourths tablespoon of active dry yeast. Using the dough hook attachment on speed two, add the flour mixture half a cup at a time, letting it incorporate between each addition and scraping down the bowl as needed. Once all the flour is in, continue mixing another three to five minutes. The dough should be very soft and will not stick to your hands. Turn the dough out onto a clean work surface and divide it into five equal pieces. We're going to work with one piece at a time and keep the rest loosely covered with plastic wrap. Working with one piece of dough at a time, roll each into an 11 inch circle. Add three heaping tablespoons of apricot preserves and spread evenly over the surface. Now sprinkle the top with one third cup of your nut mixture. Now the best tool for slicing these is a pizza cutter and you're gonna cut it into 12 equal pieces, just like a pizza. Roll each piece from the base towards the center and place on a parchment lined baking sheet with the pointed tip facing down. Let the cookies rise in a warm 100 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 30 to 45 minutes or until they're about 50% larger. Finally, bake in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. Okay, the cookies are puffed and golden and they're ready to be pummeled with powdered sugar. <laughs> Um, while they're still warm, you want to dust them with powdered sugar. So transfer them to a serving platter and dust each layer generously. All right, we've got our first layer. So lots of powdered sugar, because remember there's not too much sugar in the actual cookie. I'm hungry for these. <laughs> That's why we're about to do the taste test. There we go. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is a cookie that's soft, crumbly, and flaky all at the same time. And the tangy apricot preserves and crunchy nuts give this so much great flavor. And you know, my favorite nut brand is Fisher Nuts because it is non-GMO project verified, has no preservatives, and they also have this awesome new packaging that is resealable. I mean, ding, so smart. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this recipe, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching. A big thank you to our friends at Fisher for sponsoring this recipe. I have some very important taste testers here, my mom and my baby girl. Go ahead. <laughs> She has to hold it. <laughs> so, mm. success! Make sure to try some of our other cookie recipes right over here.